time is now 25 to 1, which means that Mercury has started to transit the disk of the sun. And I'm sat at home waiting for the postman to deliver my solar filter because I recently found out that the solar filter I used in Chile for the solar eclipse managed to pick up a couple of holes on the return journey. So uh, I really hope I don't miss this because the next one doesn't happen until 2032. <laughs> Come on, postman. Thanks, mate. What's the sunny, buddy? Wallace. Good man. Thanks very much. Have a good day. I quickly chopped up the foam so that the filter would fit onto the lens nice and snug. Oh, God. Come on. Get the exposure dialed in. A nice fast shutter speed. Try autofocus. Done a pretty good job. And there it is. A tiny little speck. A really tiny little speck. But we got him. We've got the first one with the Mercury Transit. We're gonna pack up and get the hell out of here because I want to do something a little bit more exciting when the sun gets lower on the horizon, so... Oh, we got some cloud. Okay, so the photograph that I just took in my back garden is pretty much the same photograph that people all over the world are taking right now, so it, nothing feels special about it to me, and even at 800mm, Mercury was just a tiny blurry speck. I'm not sure if the focus was off or... Anyway, you guys know me, you know I like to include some kind of Earth-based foreground. And so, I'm heading to a place not far from home. And it has to be not far from home because I've only got an hour left now until the sun sets below the horizon, so... So this was my chosen target, Folly Tower in Pontypool. And if you take a look at the terrain view in Google Maps, you can see that it's nicely perched on top of a steep slope. So basically, anywhere you stand towards the east in this red region, you can pretty much see it silhouetted against the backdrop of sky. You guys might remember Folly Tower from one of my moon photography videos, where I nearly got thwarted by cloud and it got really, really exciting. So in PhotoPills, I set the target pin, which is the black one, on Folly Tower. And then I put the red pin, which is the camera position, in a position where the orange line, the direction of sunset, was passing through the tower. Now the problem is, when the sun is at sunset, it's at zero degrees. But at the top of PhotoPills, it was telling me that there's an altitude difference between the red pin and the black pin of about 8.62 degrees. So you're actually looking up at the tower by about 8 degrees. So using the timeline on the bottom of photo pills, I scrubbed through to a time when the sun was about 8 degrees in the sky, and then I had to readjust my position such that the thin orange line, the current position of the sun at that time, passes through the tower. So from that position, the altitude difference was 7.8 degrees, the sun was 7.8 degrees up, and it was in line with the tower. And that just so happened to be from the car park of a pub called the Star Inn. <laughs> what do you know? Right, so the only clear view of the tower from this table. <laughs> I kind of needed to be a bit further that way, but because of the trees in the way, about as good as it's gonna get. I'm just gonna hope it kind of lines up. Still a bit of cloud lingering, but I'm hoping that clears. 
is moving quickly, so might find a nice gap at the right time. Oh man. So I had my solar filter mounted onto the Sony 100 to 400 with a 2 times extender, so I was basically getting an 800mm focal length. Okay, so a transit of Mercury. Now Mercury orbits the Sun every 88 days. So you might think, why don't we get to see this every 88 days? And that's because the plane within which Earth orbits and Mercury orbits are tilted against each other. So it's only 13 times on average every 100 years that somebody on Earth can see Mercury pass in front of the Sun. And weirdly, interestingly, they always occur either in November or May. And the next one is not until 2032. So I kind of don't want to miss this one. I'm happy I've at least got a shot. It doesn't look <laughs> that good to be honest, but I've got a shot. I have photographed a Mercury transit. I've ticked the box. And plan and pray, plan and pray. It's really starting to rain. I'm just trying. Oh, the sun broke through. I don't think it's going to line up from here either. God damn it. It's a nice big break in the cloud. Got a few minutes left. Got about five minutes left. There's a nice break in the cloud. I hope it doesn't close up soon. All right, guys, we're at the crucial moments now, and it's looking, it's looking clear. The weather's good. Mercury's looking good. It's just whether the alignment with the tower is good because I had to shoot from this picnic table. I wanted to be down there, but the trees are blocking the view. So far, it's not silhouetting the tower. Come on. I don't think we're gonna get the tower, guys. Uh, I can see a tree coming on the edge. It's, uh, it's definitely starting to move towards the visible horizon and this cloud rolling in. You've gotta be kidding me. Oh, the tower's coming. I think I've just missed it. Shit. Come on. sun is too low, we're not going to see the top of the tower. Damn it! Damn it! Ah, come on please. No, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. I'll take some shots anyway, but... Ah, and the clouds have really rolled in. Ah, <laughs> so close guys, so close. Ah, oh, so close. Ah, that's just the way it goes sometimes, guys. Things don't always go accordingly, and that's exactly why I started this YouTube channel was to share these moments, the stories, the failures, stuff that I couldn't share in just an image. So I hope you've at least learned something. Hope you've enjoyed. It's probably been a very short vlog. I'll be trying to do this again in 2032. <laughs> Uh, but make sure to hit subscribe and if you're going out to enjoy the night sky anytime soon, I wish you good luck and clear skies.